Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IES. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about a daily current affair MCQ series in which what we do we daily discuss MCQs from your current affairs perspective. So today is 12 October so let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is Dhruv program is implemented by A. Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship B. ISRO C. Ministry of Defense D. Ministry of Rural Development so friends, uh, the answer is shown on your screen and it is ISRO. So this is basically Dhruv program is uh, to uh, to uh, kind of uh, uh, give give uh, uh, students exposure to uh, various uh, various facilities of the ISRO. So the solution is B. So it is a 14 days learning program launched uh, recently from ISRO headquarters at Bangalore and uh, it is uh, called Dhruv after the pole star and every student to be called Dhruv Tara. So 60 students, 30 from uh, science and 30 from performing arts discipline, they will be selected for this ambitious program and they will be, they, uh, their tool will begin at ISRO and then they will stay at in Delhi where they will be mentored by renowned experts. So it, uh, it is being started to identify and encourage talented children to enrich, enrich their skills and knowledge. So let's move on to the next question. Next is which of the following international organization is partner in, in release of global nutrition report? A. World Bank, B. FAO, C. WHO, D. UNICEF. So we have to choose that which of these options is correct. Let me tell you friends that the answer is C that is uh, World Health Organization. So this global nutrition report it is re uh, released by an independent expert group that is uh, global nutrition report stoke stakeholder group. So it, it releases this report in partnership with WHO. So the first report was published in 2014. So it uh, acts as a report card on world's nutrition that is both globally, regionally and country by country. And also then uh, it, uh, it is a uh, and also also it suggests measures to improve the nutrition outcomes. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to Surakshit Matritva Aswashan scheme. First it is maternity benefit scheme. Second all pregnant women, newborns and mothers up to 6 months of delivery will be able to avail several free healthcare serv services. So we have to choose that which of these statements is correct. Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct. So as, as is clear from its name, so this is related to maternity benefit, Matritva, Surakshit Matritva. And then this, uh, basically this scheme aims to provide uh, free uh, services, various healthcare services to all the pregnant women as well as their newborn babies and mothers up to uh, six months of delivery who, who, who visit the public health centers. So solution is C. So basically it aims to provide free health care services that is at no cost to every woman and newborn visiting a public health facility and beneficiaries visiting public health facilities are entitled to several free services. So eligibility is all pregnant women uh, uh, including their new, newborns and mothers up to 6 months of delivery will be able to avail uh, several free health care services. So now let's move to the next question. Next is... Uh, 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 let's uh, just uh, just a let's take a brief look. Uh, so uh, WHO defines quality of care for mothers and newborns as the extent to which healthcare services provided to individuals and patient populations improve desired health outcomes. So in order to achieve this, healthcare must be safe, effective, timely, efficiently integrated, equitable, and people-centered. So statistics says that in India has India's maternal mortality rate has declined uh, 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 in uh, from 254 per uh, 1 lakh life births in 2004-06 to 130 in 2014-06. So between uh, the, uh, 2001 and 2016, the infant mortality rate came down from uh, 66 per 100 life births to uh, births to 34. Now let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to Carpet Export Promotion Council. First, it is a statutory body to promote export of carpets, all types of handmade uh, noted carpets, rugs, floor co uh, coverings and other light products from India. Uh, second, it is under Ministry of Commerce. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are incorrect. So it is not a statutory body and it is not under Ministry of Commerce, rather it is under Ministry of Textile. So this export promotion council is basically it was set up in 1982 by the Ministry of Textiles. So it aims to promote export of carpets, 
and uh, india has please note that india has the largest share of uh, this uh, uh, carpet market that is 35% of the total world import of hand car handmade carpets is from india now let's move to the next question next is phazolicin seen in news is related to a newly discovered periodic, periodic element b antibiotic c plant based protein d none of the above so friends let me tell you the answer is c uh, that is uh, b so a antibiotic so it is a basically newly discovered antibiotic uh, that is that was found in tropical uh, uh, rainforests of uh, this uh, uh, mexico so it is uh, it is found in symbiotic relationship uh, with wild beans so please note that wild beans they it it, it was found in the ro root nodules of uh, these wild beans and uh, this anti this unusual antibiotic is produced by a symbiotic soil bacterium that fixes nitrogen for the plant as well as keeps harmful microbes away so it is a class of a peptide so please note also note this this is very important so it is a class of pepti uh, peptide produced by ri ribosome and is a part of a diverse class of natural products within a, uh, with a variety of biological uses so now let's move to the next question next is asia environment and force uh, environment enforcement award is awarded by a united nation environment program b united nation development program c unesco d none of the above let me tell you friends that the answer is a that is united nation environment program so asia environment enforcement award was recently won by ramesh pandey uh, who is a senior indian forest of, uh, service officer so he was uh, uh, he, he is recognized for his contribution to combat the transboundary tra environmental crime so uh, ramesh pandey uh, that is a, a senior officer in uh, ifs uh, has, a, has significant made has made significant contribution so far as combating transboundary environmental crime is concerned and uh, he is he is also the person who introduced this m stripes uh, which is uh, uh, which is a, a kind of we can say technology which is existing the uh, the uh, uh, the personnel at dudba tiger reserve on the recommendation of national tiger conservation authority so five categories are there in which award is given that is collaboration impact innovation integrity and gen general leadership now let's move to the next question next is operation peace spring seen in news is related to a turkey's military campaign in, in syria b israel's military campaign in west bank uh, c saudi arabia's military com campaign in yemen d none of the above so friends the answer is a that is it is turkey's military campaign in syria so it is basically against the kurdish forces uh, so uh, kurdish led forces have been now attacked then uh, this in alliance this is being done in alliance with the this, uh, the forces of the syria so basically kurdish uh, inhabited area uh, so kurdish people spread across these four regions four countries that is iran iraq syria and turkey so they also some part of uh, some of them also they are found in armenia so uh, basically uh, this uh, this attack has been to uh, the purpose of this attack has uh, has been to create a safe zone in which uh, the turkey can resettle those uh, refugees that have uh, run from syria and uh, uh, it uh, uh, turkey hopes to settle 1 million refugees there uh, in this zone in which uh, uh, which uh, which is now controlled by these kurdish rebel groups now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements related to gangetic dolphins first it is declared as national aquatic animal of india second iucn red list classifies gangetic dolphin as endangered so which of the above statements is correct let me tell you both of these statements are correct so friends answer is c both one and two so it is national aquatic animal of india so it is endangered and it is a mammal uh, that and it has to come uh, to often to uh, on often to the surface uh, from its aquatic habitat to take uh, to take the breath because it is a mammal and also its nickname is susu and it is a blind dolphin it is also known as blind dolphin because it doesn't have uh, crystalline crystalline eye lens so it it uses this uh, equilocation to navigate and hunt so with this is very important fact so please note this this is a blind dolphin because it doesn't have a crystalline eye lens and uses equilocation to navigate and hunt so iucn red list classifies gangetic dolphin as endangered now let's move to the next question next is uh, say yatri mobile app is launched by a ministry of home affairs b ministry of railways c ministry of women and child development d none of the above 
So friends, the answer is Ministry of Railway. So this uh, Sahyatri mobile app is basically to ensure the safety of the passengers. So it it is a kind of uh, this app will uh, this mo this will be a website as well as a mobile app. So this will be kind of uh, uh, give uh, passengers access to uh, various types of data, so they can com register their complaints online and will also help uh, them find out uh, the rail uh, uh, the jurisdiction of a police station and uh, the details of government railway police officials by geo tagging with google maps so it can also scan and read qr codes and can make an emergency call so database of criminals will also be there including their uh, photographs and uh, uh, their active area and railways jurisdiction all over india would be uploaded on the website though so this will facilitate crime detection by integrating the criminal da database online now let's move to the last question of the day last question is arogya uh, arogya sorry Ar arogya sri health card is issued by which of the by which state government a andhra pradesh b kerala c karnataka d tamil nadu so friends the answer is a that is andhra pradesh so arogya uh, arogya sri health cards are basically issue they will be issued to all eligible persons by andhra pradesh government with a provision to record their medical history so uh, the uh, so this card uh, uh, can be used by the beneficiary uh, at government and private hospitals to obtain services free of cost so it in order to facilitate the effective implementation of this scheme the state government has set up arogya arogya sri healthcare trust under the chairmanship of chief minister so there is a, uh, this healthcare trust is directly under the chief minister so this is very important uh, as uh, it, in, it directly involves the chief minister and the trust is administered by a chief executive officer and ias officer so the beneficiaries of, of the scheme are the members of below poverty line families as enumerated and uh, photographed in white ration card linked with aadhar card and available in the civil supplies department database so context is that andhra pradesh chief minister ys jagan mohan reddy has said that government would bring uh, the treatment of 2000 types of diseases and procedures within the ambit of its flagship program uh, arogya sri on a pilot basis in west godavari district so friends this is all about today's discussion if you like the questions if you like the video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also uh, friends uh, uh, one important information for you is that we also have a public telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen uh, you can uh, 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 on this telegram channel we have more than 13000 uh, followers and uh, you can also become part of them because uh, here we keep on updating various initiatives that we have for the purpose of csc preparation and also we uh, post various types of uh, public sources uh, uh, of our team uh, uh, in this telegram channel so if you wish to access to if you wish to access those public services then do ensure that you join this telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box and lastly if you have any doubts queries you can mail us at chyes21 at the rate gmail.com or you can also contact us at 8968920720 So this is all about friends today's discussion if you like this discussion then do ensure that you like it share it with your, share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead